Welcome back, John. Hey, how's it going? Time for more Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. So we're gonna go kill somebody? We're gonna go blow up the guy? Is that what we're gonna do? We're gonna go blow up the guy. Okay. And, um, I, I pr oh, wait. I can just take a taxi back. I can Uber it back. No problem. Good call. <laughs> You know, I wonder if that's what if that's going to happen. If taxis are just going to ever like actually totally go away because of internet services like Uber, it'll become like phone books, and you know we'll talk about them, but nobody will know what we're talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I think we mentioned this before, but I had never heard of Uber until moving to Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. The the closest it it might have been in Lafayette, where I used to live, Louisiana. But everyone just called it the drunk car. You would call it only if you got drunk and you couldn't drive home. Right. But yeah. That was all it was for. Nobody talked about anything else. Well, that's all it's for now. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I, I take I take it to soccer games or just anything in general. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't take it, but when there's more than just me, yeah, it's it definitely beats... Taking a taxi or waiting around for the useless go train or anything like that. Oh yeah, the useless Whoa. Toronto public transit is just so bad. Okay, just we, bad. We've shit on it quite a bit, haven't we? Uh, maybe not enough. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not enough. It's just it's just a disaster. It's such a train wreck of a system. Uh, but when I lived in Japan, I lived so remotely that they had this weird kind of thing. I don't know if you know about it. Uh, but basically. So you go out, you have your drinking party or whatever, and of course you can't drive your own car home because Japan has zero tolerance, absolute zero tolerance for any kind of uh, oh sure, even on bicycles. If you're drunk on a bicycle, you lose your right to you know any kind of oh, license. That's right, I, yeah. You'll probably go to jail over it, and yeah. Because I've gotten pulled over in Germany about uh, when I was 17, riding my bike drunk, and they just they just took me home. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, didn't, so, I didn't know. Right, yeah, but you're not allowed to. So, uh, you go drinking in Japan, or like in the really remote area of Japan that I was in, and so, uh, you call the taxi service, but then not only, they, not only do they send a taxi, but they send out a, another guy who's gonna drive your car home, falling oh. behind the taxi. Oh, as, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, so another guy drives your car home, uh, and you actually go in your car, you just go in the passenger seat of your car, and then that other buddy, or that other guy has a buddy who comes with him, and then... They, he just follows you and picks them up from your home. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's, it's quite expensive. It's not it's not cheap, but you know that's just the deal with the right? Right. It's just what you have to deal with. I always wondered if I were ever going to go back to Japan and go live there again because it's a, it's a cute. Country. Yeah. I've never been. I mean, I I can't wait to go. My dad and I have a have a deal in place where my 30th birthday and his 70th, we go to Japan and spend like 10 to 14 days there. And how, old, how old is your dad? My dad is turning, he's 67 right now. 67, okay. Yeah, and he's not retired. <laughs> right. It's disco time. It is disco time. Where's my, where's my He's going to dance, right? Oh, yeah. doesn't matter he's like a boss. <laughs> Even bosses need his party time. Ah, boy. There he goes. Oh no, I'm out. Oh no. What do I do? Uh. Oh, this guy was quite tough, I remember. Yeah, I died a few times. Because <laughs> I wasn't really dodging him very well. Yeah. Because this thing kept hitting me. Did he get hurt by those things? Well, what about your alpha thing? Remember there was the alpha gun? That oh, you that's had right. Used? And that's why it was so difficult to beat him the first time. I gotta use this guy more. Yeah, this looks ah, like... Ah, run away! This looks like kind of like the... the let's just, just get out of this area <laughs> weapon. Out of that... Oh, I know. Buzz blades! I love these things. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. We are bouncing! Bounce, bounce, bounce. He's tired. You know what I'm noticing though? Bounce, very bounce. few of them actually hit the second thing. They just hit the wall. Yeah, they're not really point. upgraded right now. 
upgrade. Oh, and if they're upgraded, they just home Yeah, they them? do. Yeah, they do more. Fusion grenade, fusion grenade, fusion grenade, fusion grenade. Come on. Die. Why won't he die? Oh, I'm running out. I'm running out of stuff. Your, your alpha guy, right? Ah, oh, sucks. Ah, oh, oh, Wait, do you not have that ammo for the alpha gun? Oh, I already you, used it. Oh, you already used it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the wrench. Just use the wrench. Just use the wrench. I don't know. He's made out of plasma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop. Is it a wrenchable plasma? Stop. Have I been hit? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, I'm awesome. That, nope, that's not ammo. What is it, help? Oh, no, I don't know what it is. I think... Buzz blades. I got buzz blades. More buzz blades. What about this purple stuff? I don't know what that is. Oh, you got some combustor shots. What's Ooh. a combustor? Ooh. Ooh. I've been using my nanosformers. Nanosformers again. Shame. Shame. Can you put down two at one time or Shame. Right? There's not much point to doing two at one time. Shame. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Shame on me. And there you go, that's Shame. it. Shame. You want a hollow pirate disguise? I'm gonna be a pirate now. Good. Ooh, promoted to inspector. How do you like that? Am I impressive? Are you impressed, John? Uh, yeah. Did that make your so. jeans tighter? Uh, <laughs> not even a little. Uh, I don't. I don't have that kind of appeal on you yet. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's just all the beer I drink recently. Did you call us here for a reason, or are you just trying to get us killed? As scintillating as Ratchet the Yellow Wombat is. I found this in Takian's underwear drawer. You I thought it was. I thought it might be a clue. Oh. It's time for another installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness. Importantness. In this chapter, we will explore the galactic awesomeness that is Iris, the largest supercomputer in Polaris history. This Yay, Oh, that's right. My, uh, when I worked for my last company, our main computer system was called the Iris. Oh. And part of the computer data system. Ago, Iris and did it come to life? The it did the opposite of coming to life. <laughs> it would definitely die and take everything with it. <laughs> right. This has been another depressing installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness. Yay, stuff. Hmm. Maybe Iris, Iris knows where the Dimensionator is. Let's go. Take me with you. I can't do this undercover thing anymore. I'm not a superhero. I'm just a hero. How am I supposed to survive without some kind of endorsement deal, huh? Well, uh, okay, take it easy, big guy. Big guy. Maybe you can be a superhero. Wow, the Disney game's freaking out again. So you hear it? Whiny. You're right. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh... Man, these scenes the are just not happy. <laughs> it's just out of sync. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I hope you never have to endure the pressure of saving an entire galaxy. Wish me luck. Man, that's crazy how how that happens, especially for a game on the Coordinates PlayStation Three. For the Iris supercomputer. You just wouldn't expect expect that, you know, yeah. subtitles and whatnot to just go out of whack like that. Yeah, I mean, and, it's the and, actual and, game on yeah, it. Yeah, it's everything. On the taxi, not an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What a relaxing ride. Look, we died there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. This bloody cab. Oh. Where's yeah. the driver to talk to us? <laughs> or just like a teleporter, right? I don't know. I guess maybe people get proud of their level design. They want, they want you to see the whole level. I mean, yeah, there are things about the levels in Ratchet Clank that are really cool. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's a Ferris I mean, wheel. You could take like a screenshot of this and make it your background. Yeah, you know, but no, but it's not bad. No, it's, yeah, it's definitely not an ugly level by any stretch. 
So do you want to take over from here? Okay. Creely Comet. Alright, is this where I get to shoot the plane? I don't know. Probably. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Alright, All right. John's taking over. I've, play I've played enough, I've played my fair share. We've gone through two levels in like 30 minutes, so we need to take a good 50 minutes to get to the next level. <laughs> That's not a boat of confidence in yourself, Mr. John. No. Nope. I'm just making sure. I'm just budgeting appropriately as all of this. Uh, I want to make my life easier. Oh, <laughs> uh, so I don't have to shoot anything. Or I don't get to shoot anything. I don't anything. know. I don't think so. Oh, we're in the ice planet with all the northern lights. It's like Norway or something. I was just going to say Saskatchewan, but you know. Saskatchewan. <laughs> Except it looks good. Except it looks nice. Yeah. Those pirate ships are blocking our path to It's islands. definitely not just we flat, that's for sure. Yeah. Saskatchewan's one of the flattest places in the world. So, after basketball on Tuesday. Yeah, they really want you to like look at their levels. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I like it. It's a nice little thing to, to introduce that. every level. Yeah. I mean, it's a good oh my god, what am I doing here? No, turn turn back. Look like, where you like... Yeah, turn, I'm trying turn. to zoom in on him. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get that view. Oh my god. What if I do like this? <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we can't do it anymore. You gotta turn the camera. How do you turn the camera? With the right analog stick. So get... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do oh. it. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> the blank stare of dread. Yeah. He always has that look on him. <laughs> or match at the long X. Okay. Where did this plane take me? This yeah. place is horrible. <laughs> we don't need any weapons. We got lots. I can't yeah, we want to save for the stronger armor. Because now we're just getting hit like once or twice and dying. Yeah, that's right. It's not a, it's not a good time. No. Okay, so... We don't need any of devices. Nah, so basketball on Tuesday... Hung out with everybody. They're the ones that convinced, like, made it a good idea to do the trailer. Okay. And afterwards, I hung out a little bit longer, uh, started talking to another guy, and, you know, we were just having a couple of drinks. I woke up so dehydrated, because I wasn't drunk. I was just dehydrated because of all the basketball sweating and falling it up with a few beers. Right. I was ridiculously de dehydrated hungover. How do you fight again? I forget. What do I shoot? Triangle. Hold triangle and choose your weapon. And then you press circle. Triangle. Or R1. Okay. Uh, should I kill him with a gelinator? Do whatever you want. Well, you can't kill anyone with a gelinator. Uh, okay. Let's use the Shard Reaper. There you go. L2 to strafe. Whoa. Whoa. What was that about? You pressed something that I haven't seen before. When did we get the jet boots? Oh. I used the jet boots? I pressed L2. Yeah, so double. And then R R2. See what that does. Let me do it. So maybe double click. Oh, wait, because I'm supposed to press circle, not R2. Yeah, there we go. Is this uh, armor? We don't have enough. We need 100,000. 100K. 100K. So, back to the dehydrated thing. I was I was very dehydrated and I was rewatch I I've been in the process of rewatching Cowboy Bebop. Have you heard of this? Uh, right. Yes, I know Cowboy Bebop. Wait, how do I put on my pirate costume? Hold triangle. R one. There it is. Ah, yeah, there it is. Wait, so do I have analog to stick to pick it? Oh. You are a pirate, Arg. <laughs> so there's an episode in Cowboy Bebop where. Hold on, plot. <laughs> Celebrate your uh, piracy. Start dancing. Start dancing. <laughs> Press the X button. Just start dancing. You got a rhythm game going here now. Oh, is this like rock band or something? <laughs> you suck. Oh, wait, what was it? You messed up. You got a match. You got a match. You see things come across the screen, and you got to match the moves. Okay. Wait, what? I didn't see anything come across the screen. That's because you pressed the button too early. Press the left, right, up. With the left stick to dance, shake the six-axis controller to shake your booty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. pirate, you're doing the pirate Press thing. left, right, or up with the, on the L stick to dance. 
You're not matching them. Oh, right? I'm supposed to match them. Yeah. Wait, but how do? Okay. I just you're seeing you're seeing them in the background. Uh, I okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I thought they would actually tell me what button to press. Up. Right. So. Yeah. Okay, like that. Up. Uh, up. Okay, I, I was pressing down. Oh, you suck. Well, so oh, you got. Up. Okay, I guess you got in. Do I have to keep the pirate thing on? No, you can kill him. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I like the pirate so there's an episode right. in Cowboy Bebop where the main character Spike is totally hung over himself, right? Right. And he is drinking this thing called Wow. Wait, what? You died. How the heck did I die? So he's drinking this thing called a prairie oyster. Yes. Are you familiar with this? Vaguely. I, it sounds a bit different from what I know, but... So, it's a raw egg, yes. Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, specifically Tabasco if you have that, and salt and pepper. Yeah, I heard of those. Yeah. You mix it all together and just throw it down. And apparently it's really good for hangovers. Yep. That's and what do. I was I, I, I was willing to try whatever... So you did it? I, I threw down a prairie oyster and, yeah, and you made it on your own and everything? With, with it, within 30 minutes I was totally fine. Really? Yeah, it, it, it worked. Wow. I'm not sure ever anybody else could handle a raw egg with that kind of nonsense in it. Right. But, man, I felt loads better after that. I couldn't believe it. Because I'm watching this anime and I'm going, what? Oh. Because he got super mad when they spilled it, and he's like, I needed that egg. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in Cowboy Bebop, like the movie or whatever? No, it's in the show. Oh, there's, okay, there's yeah. a show, too. Yes. Wait, am I supposed to you gotta spin the bolt here? thing. Oh, there's a bolt, oh, right, because I'm a plumber, so I gotta do it with my bolt thing. You're not a plumber, you're an engineer. Okay. Mario Brothers are plumbers. The Mario Brothers are plumbers. <laughs> I think more plumbing happens in this game than the Mario Brothers game, so. I mean, yeah, they just go down pipes. Yeah. But there's an actual plumber in this game. You want to get behind him and just shoot him. Well, oh, yeah. I die? Yeah. That's why we need better armor. <laughs> Man, no kidding. I do I have to go. Oh, you are you are you serious? I have to go all the way back here. <laughs> I'm gonna bust up all these things. You don't do this to me. <laughs> Oh man! I am sensing the beginning of rage here. <laughs> yeah. Do it. We got seventy-six thousand now. At least you don't have to do the pirate gig every time. Yes, thank goodness. That would just be really irritating. Hey, we got more health. <laughs> oh, did I upgrade the the health one? Yeah, just a little bit. How? When you kill a certain amount of enemies, you get your little nanotech. Well, okay, it just like Increase. automatically decides that I need more help. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't just decide, you earn it. By killing enemies. <laughs> I love how video games use the word earn. <laughs> you did earn. You earned it. We earned, we've earned it twice over. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> but I. Just continuing Cowboy Bebop, like that that show's incredibly good and it still holds up. I'm I'm very happy. Get the thing, get the thing. Oh I just want I, I get just in use there? a weapon, it's fine. How do I get, how do I get in there? Like I may I'm amazed because oh. I've watched the show quite a bit. And I'm amazed how much I've forgotten. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I my goodness. Alright, one more try. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> we are just, like, we're made of paper or something, I don't know. I don't need that armor upgrade. <laughs> what have you been spending our money all this time? Weapons? Weapons all we don't even use. We, know, we just need the shotgun thing here, right? <laughs> That's all we need. Die. Dirty pirate thing. So you, you, uh, you were telling me that you've recently seen Mamoru Oshii's live action uh, movie? I never watched it, but... Uh, he's, just... he's the Ghost in the Shell director. That's right. Yeah. A couple summers ago I worked at uh, a studio that did visual effects for movies like The Watchmen and uh, oh, wow. Orphan Black and stuff like that. You know, whatever, like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Babel... I don't know, just one of those studios, right? Right. Uh, and they had, did all the visual effects for his first live action movie, Mamoru Oshii or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they did all the visual effects for it. I forget what the movie's called. 
It it was not good though. It, <laughs> it was not a good movie. Was it just like poorly written, or was it the budget? Yeah, really oh bad? yeah, it's just it's just it was one just of all around. Everything that's bad about science fiction movies was bad. It's just you know whenever you do world creation, like, and I've, I've gotten really into world creation lately because I just finished doing a screenplay for uh, uh, the Thief game. Right. Um. Ooh, grind rail time. All right. All right. So before you get in that grind rail, we're gonna do that next time. Are we? Did yeah. I die so many times that we can't even do a full level in this? <laughs> that is correct. I used to, I just want to do the grind rail. Then we can do it. Okay. Uh, all right, go. Go okay. for it. But if you die... <laughs> it's a grind rail. You don't die on a grind rail. Oh, you can die on the grind rail. Right, if you just do... You gotta do yeah. Right? <laughs> and now we're it's pretty, pretty much done, right? Okay. Kill these guys. Right, well, we're, we're going until you die. Okay, so, until the next death? So the next death, we're finish this little world here. Okay. Well, uh, so I was saying, like, I've gotten into world creation a lot lately. Right. And actually, last night, I watched the first Star Wars movie again. Like, the the very first, A New Hope, the one that introduced everything in Star Wars to the audience. And I would say that, like, that that move, that film alone is the most beautiful textbook example of world creation. Because it starts off with just Darth Vader and Princess Leia, and you got the two robots, C-3PO and R2-D2. And then for the first half hour of that film... It's just C-3PO and R2-D2 kind of navigating that to me. And they make things like the you don't find You don't find that a little boring, though? Oh, God, no. It, and it was... No, because it tells you exactly what you need to know for the point in the story at which you're at. Uh, Predator? No. Yeah, you those things. On these guys? Yeah. Okay. The Swarmers? Yeah, they got shields, so you want something powerful. You gotta hold it down. Right. There you yeah. go. Again. Yeah. Oh, 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 no! Die, bitch. Uh, yeah, so, you know, they don't even introduce Luke Skywalker until, like, halfway through the movie. Well, not halfway, but, like, you know, a good half hour into the movie, right? Right. Uh, yeah, and, you're out of there. And forget about Han Solo. Well. Oh, God. How far is it going to take you back? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Man, this is so unforgiving. <laughs> Alright, next time on Mushin Spiel. Oh Spiel. my god. So this is the episode of Mushin Spiel you don't have to watch. <laughs> Alright. You deserve this. You deserve this, Ratchet. You Bye. totally deserve this. Oh.